Welcome back to Trucking California with Velox 18. While we're warming up the truck, let me just tell you guys what we're doing today, all right? We got ourselves a load of chicken. That's right, El Pollo Gordo is back. But we got this truck, this 2022 Peterbilt 389. We got a reefer. We're running up and down California, hauling all the loads we can haul, trying to make as much money as we can for our family. And uh, hey, that's what I do. That's all I do. And that chronicle all this for you guys, so you guys can see what someone who's just trying to figure things out out here in California uh, can do with one truck, one trailer, and uh, a little bit of a little bit of uh, you know weirdness. That's how I roll. So uh, yeah, just run up and down California. So I basically truck in California. Hence the name of the channel, Trucking California with Velox 18. We're not trucking Arizona with Velox 18. We're not trucking Nevada with Velox 18. We're not even trucking Iowa with Velox 18. No, nope. no sir. There's no other 49 states that I truck in. Well, sometimes I go out of state. All right, I, you guys got me. But most of the time I'm trucking California with Velox 18, all right? So with that, we're gonna get in this truck. We're gonna go preload for tomorrow because we just got a load that we gotta get on the truck tonight. Then we're gonna go back home, get some sleep in our bed and uh, go back and see our family, kiss them goodbye, let them all go to school in the morning and then I'll just go to work almost like a normal guy, except I won't be back for a day or two. <laughs> Cause I'm a trucker, y'all. Uh, all right, let's uh, let's go get in the, the truck. Let's get down and get our chicken into the truck, our pollo. And uh, what else was I gonna say? I was gonna say one more thing. Oh yeah, roll the music. So we got over here about 20 minutes before our appointment and man it's it's a madhouse around here it's a busy night over here at foster farms in livingston all right let's go see uh how many guys we got wait behind in line and then see how long this takes us it might be a while oh and i shot a man in reno just to watch him die all right so that was pretty quick. Uh, we're not quite, we're not quite, um, you know, like first in line. There's a lot of guys in docks ahead of me. And because I don't deliver until 5 p.m. tomorrow, I have a feeling I'm gonna be one of the last ones to get loaded. But hey, we're getting a dock. And uh, hey, when I went in there, I met Tony from, uh, uh, what was it, RRT? I think, RRT, something like that. But anyway, Tony, it was really good meeting you. Uh, he's over here picking up some chicken like the rest of us pollo locos all right um door 22 i gotta figure out which one that is it feels extra dark over here tonight they don't have their lights on it's kind of weird so uh hopefully their lights get kicked on here pretty soon because i can't see a dang thing all right uh talk to you guys oh the lights ah, it's dark in here there we go and foster farm said let there be light now we've got all the lights on over here so we can actually see i backed in here without any lights but uh i think they're just still set to summer hours because it's 8 30 pretty much exactly yeah 8 30 exactly so they they turn these lights on at 8 30 so they're still in the summer hours but it was dark at eight o'clock before eight o'clock so i think they need to uh you know change the timing on those lights i think i don't know or maybe something was wrong who knows not sure but all the outside lights were off they had lights inside so that's good they're still loading getting people out of here but uh let's see how long this takes uh, i've been in the door now for 20 minutes and um still got still got a green light and the guy next to me backed in just a minute ago and he's already got a red light so like i said i've got the latest appointment to deliver tomorrow so i have a feeling i'll be one of the guys you know here until midnight or so uh, i don't know why they have me show up at at eight 
you know, when there's like a hundred other guys here, but you know, whatever. Is there, it's their, uh, their sandbox. I'm just playing in it. All right, let's get the heck loaded. I'm gonna relax, chill in the sleeper, and uh, see how long this takes. All right, we got ourselves our paperwork, and uh, well, now I'm gonna go home and go get some sleep. It took about three and a half hours to get loaded. So, uh, hey, I went in this porta potty. You guys remember when I uh, made an impassioned plea for everyone to uh, start closing the the uh, toilet lid and the porta potties so that they wouldn't stink up? Well, I went in there to use the restroom, and guess what? The lid was closed and it smelled wonderful in there. Well, maybe not wonderful, but it didn't smell as bad as a porta potty usually smells. So I'm gonna take credit for that, all right? This YouTube channel is helping change the world, all right? Vetlox18 out here changing the world for, for the better, all right, with all the porta potty etiquette. Uh, anyway, I was pretty proud of myself actually. I'm like, I, I'm gonna take credit for that. That's, that's gotta be me. That's gotta be me. That, who did that? I did that. What's up? All right, we gotta get the heck out of here, go home, get some sleep. I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, good morning, good morning, good morning. We are ready to take off and head south. So it's about 9.15. We took 10 hours off, even though we only drove five minutes to pick up our chicken load and drove five minutes back after waiting three and a half hours over there. Still got to reset that 14, you know what I mean? You guys know what I mean? You know what I mean? All right, let's let's uh, let's get rolling. And uh, yeah, we can't roll the music or anything. We already we already introed this video. So let's just hit the road and uh, get south. I'm going to go around again. I'm going to go through uh, Highway 58 and drop down 395 to I-15 and all that. So uh, let's roll. All right. Let's get rolling. We're passing by one of the uh, Foster Farms chicken farms over here. And uh, it's kind of funny. It says now hiring chicken catchers. I should imagine what that job entails. I don't know. I don't know that I'd be too good at it. I don't think I would be. I've, uh, I've lost a step in my... Uh, in my maturation process, I'll call it. I'm not aging, I'm just maturing. Um, but, yeah. That uh, doesn't seem like a job <laughs> that, I, that I would be any good at, chicken catcher. But all right, let's, uh, let's get on this uh, 99 South up here. And uh, we'll start heading, heading down. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some clips uh, while I'm driving with some music. But I think I'm going to check in with you guys every so often. I got my microphone hooked up to the camera. We'll see if that, you know, gets us uh, some okay audio without too much background noise. So that's what we're going to do. That's how we're going to try it and uh we'll go from there all right let me let me merge on this freeway and we'll be on our way
just stopped over here in Bakersfield, um, kind of East Bakersfield, Highway 58, at a little mom and pop independent truck stop. Is it just me or is all, a lot of these little small independent ones, they're kind of dirty, dingy, and they got drop trailers just sitting there with like tumbleweeds underneath them. Uh, anyway, so I'm gonna stop here, I'm gonna use the restroom, and uh, I'm also gonna start looking for loads. So a little like hint for you guys, uh, that I've been using lately, it seems to work a little bit better, is um, if you want to get a load, like I want to get a load tomorrow morning, you got to try and hit them up at the end of the day today because they're trying to cover everything that picks up in the morning by today. Um, and and so, you know, they might be looking to uh, push some rates up to get them covered. And if they do that, that means uh, that, you know, I could cash in uh, before the the close of business today on the east coast so it's 1 p.m here so i always try to get things done by 2 p.m here uh pacific time that way i can try to get in before those guys on the east coast go home uh some of them are on central time which means you know they're only two hours ahead but still it works uh so um otherwise i'll be waking up in the morning and trying to find trying to find a load for tomorrow morning so that's kind of uh that's the plan so let's get in here do this. jump on highway 395 to uh, cut across over to the 15 and um, when I stopped to use the facilities back there uh, we I was looking at the load board and I noticed something uh, that I wanted to bring to your guys's attention so I have uh, uh, I've seen it a, a, a lot more now where they will basically use uh, your reefer uh, for cold storage where they will have a pickup time like Wednesday you know the day that I'm looking for loads but those loads won't deliver until Monday and they're only 300 mile loads so they've got really good rate per miles if you did a rate per day it would be terrible uh, and that's where um, you know you gotta just be paying attention what the, the delivery appointments are because that delivery appointment, you know, if, you, if you're stuck with something, if you sign up for a load and you overlook that, you're gonna be stuck with that load on your truck for five days and you're just gonna be sitting there, you know, not making any money. So just gotta uh, keep an eye on all the details on these loads because I don't know, I've seen I've seen those even uh, Riverside to LA, which is like you know 80 miles or something like that. And they'll uh, they'll have Riverside to LA for like a thousand bucks, and I'm like, whoa, cool! I should just do that and then run up north, you know, try and see what I can get on the truck to run north after that. Uh, and then I I look and it picks up, you know, Wednesday and doesn't deliver until Friday, and I'm like, well, that's kind of dumb for 80 miles, but. Like I said, I think they're just using our, our reefer trailers for, for, for cold storage, for storage space. We got to hold it on our truck. So anyway, something to pay attention to. Who knows, maybe if you, you know, you're going to be on home time, you wouldn't mind doing that, getting a really good rate. Uh, and you just take some home time and then go out and deliver that before you get, you know, get going on a longer run. I don't know. I wouldn't want to babysit it though. That's, if I'm doing home time, I don't want to babysit a load. Uh, in the in the reefer make sure everything goes good with it so anyway uh we're gonna get up this little this little hill right here and cut across 395 we've got to go over all these whoop de doos <laughs>
glad we made it here. Um, I meant to record on my way in, but dude, it took like 15 minutes just to get checked into the guard shack. I come over here, there's all kinds of trucks in the staging area. Um, there's a bunch of doors open, so I don't know, but he said, yeah, we don't have any doors right now. Uh, we'll call you when there's a door open. So I don't know what exactly that means. Um, oh yeah, and then they didn't like my my little suspender style uh, reflective vest, the black one. They wanted the, the high vis, so they let me borrow one. So it's kind of nice uh, instead of just kicking me out. You know, they could just say, no, go get a vest, come back later. But uh, they let me use one, so that was cool. So, but apparently my, my little weenie vest, uh, even though it's OSHA approved, it's not, it's not good enough for Ralph's the Riverside. But uh, anyway, let's see how long this takes. Uh, I got here uh, a little before five, but it, it took me until 5.15 just to get through the gate. Uh, so it's already like 5.20, 5.25, something like that. Um, so we're already about 25 minutes in. We don't even, we haven't even started to get a door yet. So we'll see what happens. And, uh, I will update you guys as we go, and um, you know we gotta talk numbers once we get a dock. We gotta talk numbers, gotta talk about, I mean, we know the numbers on these. If you've been watching this channel, you already know that this is kind of a set rate kind of a thing with these chicken loads. So this is one of the one drop loads. Um, so I'll, uh, I'll let you guess what it, what it is, but uh, no, we'll talk about it when we get into the dock. How about that? All right, let's do this. Oh my goodness. Two hours later, we got a door. <laughs> this is gonna be a long one folks a long one but we got a door door 34 and uh, now we just got to get over here and get into the dope all right we got in that dock uh, so let's hit the numbers real quick hit the numbers we've got uh, 370 miles and uh, we got 1800 on the rate like I said it's kind of a fixed thing when we do these chicken loads that we do uh, we do uh, 1800 1800 on the rate and uh, unless it's a two dropper if it's a two dropper i get 2100 but uh as it is this is just a straight you know uh, livingston to riverside 370 miles and that's with the little you know I, I backtracked about four or five miles to get back to my yard so that counts that mileage in there and um yes yeah, so that comes out to like 484 a mile so we're doing pretty good was it 46 anyway 480 something a mile almost five dollars a mile i'm digging it uh, this uh, these, these chicken loads they work out for me they're so close to the house um, <laughs> this is gonna be a while but you know what I probably just sleep here and then uh, and then call it good I mean it, it's, this will be where I get my 10 hour reset so we'll see what how long this actually takes but I'm just gonna lay down get some good sleep in um, and uh, and then park out on the street you know however I need to to uh, get my clock reset for the morning time when we try and hit up another load so uh anyway i'll uh, i'll catch you guys up i'm i'm the le we're gonna fast forward to me leaving right now and uh, i'll let you guys know exactly how long this took just because sometimes i cut the video off just so i can edit it while i'm waiting but this time the the service sucks so bad here i might as well just wait and uh, give you guys a full amount of time that i'm here because that that's going to add to our revenue too because we're already hitting some uh detention right now we're over two hours so uh yeah We'll, we'll see how long this takes. Hopefully not too bad. Uh, I'd like to shut my eyes and stay asleep for a long period of time. So we'll see if I, I'll be able to do that tonight. <laughs> All right, and just like that, we're out of there, man. They got us out of there by 8.30, so three and a half hours, which is not short, but considering it took them over two hours to get me in a door, I thought for sure this was gonna be a marathon. Uh, ended up being pretty quick, easy. Uh, so yeah. So we, I just parked out here, just outside of the Ralph's Warehouse right here in um, Riverside. This is where I'm going to tuck in for the night. I'm going to go to sleep and uh, wake up in the morning and hit those load boards. Couldn't find anything um, in the afternoon to try and get a uh, early morning uh, pickup. So I'm going to wake up uh, at 6 a.m. and just hit the load boards and see what we can find because um, there's loads. There will be a whole batch of new loads tomorrow between 5 and 7 uh, Pacific time that will hit the boards and we'll be trying to see what we can get. So uh, gotta wake up early, early bird gets a worm. And uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing. So tune into the next video, see what load we get next. All right, love you guys, peace.